Um, finally, what we're going to talk about is finding points of intersection uh, when you want to um, see when things meet up. We talked about this at the very end of pre-calculus. Um, substitution works all the time, but can cause extraneous. Elimination method only works if you have matching degrees. So you can always substitute, but be on the lookout for extraneous, especially when the degrees don't match. Um, elimination will only work if your two equations have a matching degree that you're able to eliminate. Um, so we want to find the points of intersection and use a graphing utility to verify and make sure that we've got the right thing. And we'll, we'll even do that first. Sometimes it's nice to know what our answer is so we can kind of have that reassurance. Now these are mismatched. Since they're mismatched, um, I can use substitution or, um, sorry, these are mis if everything was mismatched, I'd have to use substitution. However, these two match, so I'm gonna use elimination for this one. That way I don't have to worry about, um, whatchamacallit, extraneous solutions. So I am able to eliminate that y, so I'm going to uh, use elimination. So I'm gonna subtract these two equations. Uh, 15 minus 11, that's four. The y's cancel out and we get x squared plus three x. And now that's a quadratic that I can set equal to zero. X squared plus three x minus four equals zero. Do a quick factor, x plus four and x minus one. Ooh, those are those numbers that we were getting before. So x equals negative four and x equals one. Now we wanna plug these into the lower degree equation, if I'm not mistaken. Doop, doop. Um, so you can plug into either one, Plug into either one. If you're doing substitution, you need to plug it into the lower degree equation. So I'm going to do the easier one. So I'm going to do the bottom one. Uh, so I'll plug in that x. So negative 3 plus y equals 11. So that's negative 4. So that's 12 plus y equals 11, subtract 12, so y equals negative one. So our first answer, negative four, negative one. Hey, cool, that's what we got on Desmos. And the other one, we got negative three, negative one, plus y equals 11. So that's positive four, uh, no, positive three. Um, and then we gotta add it to both sides. Oh wait, no, that's not negative one, it's positive one. That's an equal sign. So negative three, add it to both sides, y equals 14. And that got us our other answer from Desmos, one, 14. All done. And I think that is about it for today. No, I think I'm gonna do this one as well because then we can see a substitution problem. So this one is ripe for substitution. Yes, you could kind of eliminate, but then there's these, so. Um, we're going to use substitution for this one. Since they both are equal to y, um, we can just replace this y with all this garbage and then solve that. So we get the square root of negative x squared minus 4x equals whoop, the square root of x plus Six. Now you might be intimidated of all those square roots, but hey, you know, to get rid of a square root, you just square both sides. So we get negative x squared, and that just gets rid of those square roots. Oh, how nice. Uh, now we've got a quadratic, so let's get it equal to zero. So zero equals x squared. Got to add a four, so five x plus, plus uh, six, do a quick factor. Um, so let's see, we wanna multiply to be six and add to be five, so two and three. 
So x equals negative 2 and x equals negative 3. Okay, so we want to plug this into the lower degree equation. So that's going to be this one. This one's got like squares and stuff in it. So let's plug it into that one. So y equals the square root plus 6. So if we do negative 2, we get y is the square root of 4. I don't know why I'm writing all this. So y equals 2. So our first answer should be at negative 2 and 2. And then in our second one, we get y equals the square root of negative 3 plus 6, which equals, let's see, that is the square root of 3. So we get our solution at what? <laughs> negative 3 square root of 3. Okay, now remember this one has extraneous solutions pop possibly, so we have to check those out. We're actually going to use Desmos to verify that, and we will take a look at our graph. All right, so we've got two solutions. So we got negative 3 and 0 0.732. Um, that is our square root of 3 one, so that's good. And then the other one should be at negative 2 and 2. And that checks out. My gosh, I am so sorry. There we go. And then we get our decimal answer again. Um, yeah. Cool. So I think that's about it for today. Thanks, everybody. It's not it for today. Anything else is going to be online. But here's our TLDR again. Uh, please remember these symmetry things. Uh, if you replace x with negative x and you get the same thing, it is an even function or reflecting over the y-axis. If uh, you can slap a negative and nothing changes, it's reflective over the x-axis. If you can do both at the same time, you don't have to turn back into f of x. It becomes an odd function. Substitution always works, but gets extraneous. Elimination, you need to have matching degrees. Um, so that's it. Thanks. Bye-bye.